The Reno Air Races have been held every year for nearly half a century, but many people never heard of them until a plane crashed into a grandstand of spectators last September. The official report on the deadly crash has just come out, and this week is the premiere of a new documentary that was filmed just before that accident. John Blackstone looks at the men who pushed themselves and their planes to the limit. At the Reno Air Races, pilots pursue each other at 500 miles an hour, as little as 50 feet above the ground. It's like a NASCAR track in the sky. Stephen Hinton has won here twice. When you're within 10 to 20 feet of that, that airplane on the start, and then depending on how close the racing gets, you can be within five feet wingtip to wingtip. At 500 miles an at hour? At 500 miles an hour. Everything's right on the edge. Hinton is featured in a new IMAX documentary, Air Racers 3D that puts viewers in the cockpit for what's built as the fastest motorsport on Earth. In 2009, when he was just 22, Hinton became the youngest winner ever at Reno, breaking a record previously held by his father, Steve Hinton. Some people think it's a daredevil sport, but it's really not. You know, uh, none of us go out there to uh, race thinking that uh, we're just uh, adrenaline junkies. I mean, we're, it's actually more of a precision thing. We're out there to try to accomplish something. In the Hinton family, flying seems as essential as breathing. Since you were a kid, love of airplanes? Yeah, I grew up, I had a crib right here in the office. My mom works here, so it was uh, always a family business. At the Planes of Fame Museum in Chino, California, the Hintons restore classic aircraft. <laughs> Stephen took me flying in a World War II P-51 Mustang. Then his dad pulled up right beside us. Suddenly, we're flying frighteningly close, wingtip to wingtip, as they do in the races. Well, at eight or 10 feet between the wings, it bothers me a little bit, I gotta admit. Still, we were cruising at less than half the 500 miles an hour racing speed. But that was quite enough for me. Stephen, however, thrives on the edge of danger. So the engine's like a time bomb. The fuse is lit, and you don't know how long it is. The fuse seemed to reach its end in Reno last year when one plane crashed into a grandstand. Eleven people were killed, including the pilot. Scores were injured. The National Transportation Safety Board yesterday released an interim report on its investigation. Deborah Herzman is NTSB chairman. Our investigation found that this pilot in this airplane had never flown this fast on this course. The pilot likely passed out after experiencing nine times the force of gravity. The NTSB recommended pilots be better trained and equipped to deal with the extreme G-forces. Before the crash, filmmaker Christian Fry had just finished shooting Air Racers 3D. He'd been a fan for years. It was one of those events when the minute you walk through the gate, you go, wow, this is something special. And I, I just knew that uh, I wanted to try and tell the story about it. But he decided to mention last year's tragedy only in an epilogue. He wanted his film to be a celebration of this unique competition. Do you worry that perhaps the Reno Air Races will get more fans because people see the possibility of terrible things happening? You know, John, I, I think that uh, that's sort of inevitable. 17 pilots have been killed since the races began in 1964, but never had spectators died. In 1979, Steve Hinton blew an engine during the race. It was caught on film and can still be seen on YouTube. Somehow, he survived. It's really not like the movies. I mean, you don't go in screaming and yelling. Yeah, you know, you fly the plane right to the crash. You, you control it all the way down. After multiple surgeries, Hinton returned to racing. Although these days, he leaves the competition to his son. Death doesn't worry me at all up there. I don't Death go, doesn't worry you? No, I don't go up there to die. I go up there to race. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do anything dangerous up there. Not do, you, of course you're doing something dangerous up there. But it, like I said, it's a calculated risk. <laughs> By my calculation, however, it's safer just to go see the movie. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone in Chino, California. Wow. I was going to say, go Hinton family, because death worries me. Uh, and he said, death me doesn't worry me. But Erica was interesting. We're watching the piece. They, there's John and the other guy 
wing to wing, you go, isn't that cool? And I'm thinking, no, I would need depends. Well, so I did you say, isn't it cool? That. Well, I don't know. I mean, I like, I, I thought the not. shot of it was beautiful. It looked great. Would you Although, have gone up there? You know, maybe I would try it, but at slower speeds like John did, because as he said, they were going about half of this, you know, 500 miles an hour or whatever they normally do. That I don't know if I could handle. I wouldn't have done it at any speed, but. I'll wave at you. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs>